Welcome back, everybody. Lots of buzz tonight over these comments that Barack Obama made back in this 2001 radio interview we've been telling you about. The Democratic nominee saying that it was a tragedy uh, that the issue of wealth redistribution didn't get resolved uh, back during the civil rights movement of, of the 1960s. The Minnesota governor, Tim Pawlenty, is also a member of the McCain economic team, and he joins us now. Hi, Governor. Hi, Megan. Uh, okay, so Barack Obama was, uh, just, just to get it straight, he wasn't talking, he wasn't lamenting the fact that the Supreme Court didn't get into the issue of economic justice, but he was arguing essentially that it, to the extent that that's going to get done, it should get done legislatively. And some have argued that that plays into uh, the McCain camp's accusation that, as he told Joe the plumber, he wants to spread the wealth around and wants to move this country toward what would be something akin to a socialist system. Uh, your, your thoughts on it? Megan, he doesn't even dispute that. In addition to the 2001 comments, which are being reported today, when he was asked the other day about his Joe the Plumber comments, whether he wanted to modify them or retract them, he said no, he did not. So clearly, this is his uh, established worldview that it's okay to take uh, and redistribute wealth. He wants to raise income taxes. He wants to raise capital gains taxes. He wants to raise dividends taxes. He wants to raise payroll taxes. He wants to fine people who have employers who don't offer health care a penalty or a fine, and down the list. This is going to be the biggest anti-job set of proposals in the modern history of the country. He's going to throw the American taxpayer and small businesses across the country into a quicksand pit of tax increases. You know, but Governor Pawlenty, uh, Barack Obama has pointed out many times he's just going to reduce the, the or change the tax rates to what they were under Bill Clinton. And he always points out things are pretty good under Bill Clinton. Uh, so what's everybody complaining about? Well, first of all, it's the year 2008, and a lot has happened in the last 15 or 20 years. We now live in a hyper-competitive global economy. With a click of a mouse, capital can be invested or deployed almost anywhere around the world. You have to be competitive as a state and as a nation. And our tax rates, both on businesses and on individuals, are relatively high, Megan. And the last thing we need, there is no reasonable economist or no thoughtful person who looks at these issues who thinks it's a good idea to be raising taxes when we're in or near a recession. Well, but nonetheless, they point out that this country is already operating under a progressive tax code and the rich already pay more than the poor so they're going to pay a little bit more uh, but it's not like he's going to completely re re uh, redo the system the rich are going to pay a little bit more and the middle class are going to pay a significant amount less what's wrong with that well, that's the classic class warfare argument, Megan, but the problem with that is this. For most people, the number one ticket or pathway to stability or security economically is their job. And the sum total of Barack Obama's proposals are going to deter job growth in this country or put at risk current jobs in this country, and it's going to make things worse, not better. It's not about class warfare. It's what are those things that are going to provide and incentivize jobs? And there is no uh, you know, indication that small business owners are feeling that Barack Obama's proposals wouldn't hurt them. They are saying they will hurt us and they will discourage job growth in this country. Okay, but Barack Obama says that he, he's taking care of that because he provides a tax credit for every new job that a small business creates. So, so small businesses that make over 250000 may get taxed more under Barack Obama, uh, but if they, if they create new jobs, they will get credits for those new jobs. That's his answer to you. Yeah. Well, that's a $3,000 credit, Megan. That doesn't begin to overcome even one thing that's rumored. For example, there's rumors that his penalty or fine on employers for who don't provide health care will be 6% of payroll. So if you have somebody who is making you know, a $40,000 a year job, and that doesn't include all the other tax increases that he would uh, impose on businesses and employers across the country. And keep in mind, he wants to increase income taxes as well. And 70% of small businesses in this country pay the proceeds from their small businesses on their individual returns. Let me ask you one final thing before I let you go. Uh, Mark Levin, a conservative icon, I think it's fair to say, uh, came, blogged about this the, over the weekend and said, and I quote, rather than pursue the American dream, Obama insists that the American dream has arbitrary limits, limits Obama would set for us. And he, he points to that 250000 mark today. And uh, many others have suggested maybe $250,000 today, but you don't know how low it's going to go. Could it go as low as 150000 Is that fair, Governor? Uh, because, you know, the vast majority of this country does not make $250,000. And there, the thought is that if and when they get to that point, uh, they'll be well off enough to help those who are coming up behind them. Well, I think it is fair to say he wants to cap the American dream, at least as expressed by his tax policies, Megan. But, you know, keep in mind, 
if Barack Obama's policies go through, nearly 50 percent of income taxpayers or people in the country will pay no income tax and maybe even more broadly no federal tax at all. So you're going to get to a point in the country where you've got more people riding in the wagon than pulling the wagon. That's not a good future for our country. Let me ask you about this. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up in a second, but I want to ask you about this 2001 tape. Do, do you think it's relevant to the debate? Well, it is because it reinforces what he said to Joe the plumber. And so it is a, another installment or another insight into Barack Obama's thinking, his philosophy on economic matters. And I think for a lot of people, uh, you know, this should be about creating wealth, not redistributing wealth. Uh, the only way that people are going to get security is through more prosperity. And that means for most people, their job. So what are those things that we can do to increase job growth in this country? And if you ask the people who are job providers, they are saying it's John McCain's approach, not Barack Obama's approach. All right, Governor.